coming your way right now. It's our third match of the day. The Papua New Guinea women up against the Solomon Islands. And this one should be another exciting game for me. PNG, they were my favourite side on day one. Nick, really impressed. Yeah, me too. They were the highlight yesterday. Really lit up the tournament with three great wins. It was just their ability to stack numbers behind the ball, shift to the edges to their danger women. We spoke about Naomi Kelly before the games today. She was electric yesterday with their pace. Can't wait to see her in action again today. So the Solomon Islands come here with a bit of momentum. They finished day one with their first win over Vanuatu, so they love to get a second right here. And the key for the Solomon Islands yesterday, they struggled securing their own ball. They got some, a bit of success with the offload game late in the contest, so it'll be more of the same. So it'll be Papua New Guinea to kick things off in their predominantly red strip today. Shigere, she will restart play. She was very strong yesterday, the general of the side. So that's a good kickoff too, putting a contestable option. It's batted back nice there from Solomon. So they will have first crack at it. They fling it wide now to Lowy. Lowy, there's not much of it, but she's got plenty of ticker. And that's a great ball on the inside. So Solomon trying to keep it going. There was a knock on there from PNG. So we'll have the scrum. You spoke about it. Jordan that they got their offload game going late yesterday and we can see that there right from the start real clear intent to keep the ball alive three brilliant offloads Six-year-old for Solomon. She will feed. She was impressive yesterday. Plenty of heart and gets a penalty there. Kicking the ball in the scrum there was PNG. So that's a frustrating penalty there as a coach. So Solomon Islands though will have a chance to strike first, and they're shifting across very narrow in their attack. But that one's gone forward there off the pass. And missed opportunity for the. Solomon Islands there, they had all the possession to start this game. Fortunately, they're just coming up with an error. Now they're going to invite PNG into their half, a center field scrum. Be space on the edges here. They'll be keen to get the ball out to their speedsters. Lynette Auer feeds it, but a bit of pressure coming from Solomon, but that's gone forward. So we'll pack down for another scrum here. PNG's feed. Two minutes gone in this matchup. Still nil all the score. This PNG group then trained together for the last seven weeks or so, so they're getting the combinations ready to go. And here's a good one right now. Seguera, she goes across field, drops it under nicely and straight through the hole. Good defense there from Solomon holding on there on Rama. She lays it back and it's play on. That one's gone backwards to the referee, so just shoveling the pass, but play on is the call. Kaputin, she flings it wide and it's anyone's ball at the base. Cutting back on the inside, PNG getting the offloads going. That's a good ball. Play on now for PNG up the middle, Kaputin. But it's turned over there by the Solomon Islands. Good defense. But it may have gone the other way. Great steal there, so play on the call for a bow and numbers left side. And here it is. In the corner, Fatima Rama at a Nova in Port Moresby. She will get first points for PNG. And a really interesting passage of play. You can see the PNG team, the way they play, can appear to be very loose at times, throwing offloads and keeping the ball alive. It's this last pass from Seguere. She puts Rama into the space. And there's no defenders out there, but yeah, typically... Loose play from PNG, but they thrive off that. They love turnover ball. 
Some great offloads again. There was a beautiful round the corner pass at some stage in that passage of play. Bit of a new look starting lineup too for PNG, resting the likes of Butler, Giga Matt, Kelly. So trying to save the fresh legs for the big matches later today. But Solomon Marlins will have something to say about that. So they have possession now and chancing their arm on the outside and up in the face is good defense there from PNG, forcing the turnover. So they will get the scrum feed. Yeah, no, Zawa there up in the face. Sees the threat coming. Reads the play beautifully. Gets up in right under the rib cage, underneath the ball, and forces the error. Great tackle there from Siguere at the moment before two against a much bigger body. She's set up really deep here, Siguere behind this scrum. So PNG, they thrive off unstructured attack, and here's some now. Siguere flings it out wide. Out to Pocana. Pocana will go for the corner, and she will get there. Gwen Pocana, the 28 year old from Nova in Port Moresby, gets another one for PNG. Yeah, another one of their genuine speedsters. But how about this from Seguera in the middle? Starts it with a big goose step. And then throws the over-the-top pass. The double pump. Sucks in the winger. Bacana finishes a really crucial skill, the double pump, in finishing these two-on-ones and three-on-twos that you'll find in sevens. You throw the pump. Make the defender make the decision. We saw there, opened up the space on the outside and too skillful with the pass over the top. The skill there from Seguera, she holds the ball in two arms all the way to the defensive line, keeping Solomon Islands guessing. So the score now is 12 points to nil. Solomon been stuck in their own half this whole opening seven minutes. So trying to fling something. Good basketball skills, one hand popping it. On the outside, trying to get us some space. And that one's not bad. It'll work on the inside. The play on is the call. Bit of energy now coming from the Solomon Island side. PNGs is that is chilling in defense. Up in the face, making the tackle. Solomon Island's going backwards inside the 22, but they still maintain possession. Lowey puts it on the toe, looking for the outside runners. The PNG defense will get there first and... Make the tackle to the Solomon Islands swarming on defense now trying to steal the ball, but that's a good pop pass off the ground. So here's trouble. PNG in open field. Dropping under nicely there to a bow and a bow beats one. And on the outside, one more now to our. But good scramble defense there from Solomon. They've turned it over now. And there's plenty of PNG bodies on the deck, so Solomon Islands trying to create something. Seguere with the tackle. But that one was high. On Sami. What an exciting passage of play from both teams. And loving the, the way the Solomon Islands are playing. The creative passing, a real highlight. We're seeing basketball passes around the corner, over the top, out the back door. But you mentioned it, just struggling a little bit to get out of the, their own half. PNG have got them covered for pace, I think, on the edges. And they're really comfortable just sliding. It's just a great bit of attack from PNG down the short side. Spinning out of one and finding hour again for a second touch. PNG attack can be compared to the Fijian style almost. Just anything goes, playing with a bit of flair and, and freedom, and it pays off. It definitely does. We saw them yesterday a couple of times. They're winning games without the ball, just thriving off turnover attack. Almost at times comfortable to be in defense and, and force the opposition to make an error. You see some... Concern here for Lowey. She's been great for the Solomon Islands. Shame to see her going off injured. She's been in everything for them in the middle. I'll tell you what, Lowey. She's got some ticker standing only 1.42. There's not much of her as she gets help from the field. But she has been enormous for the Solomon Islands. So full credit to her and the skill she has shown. So Solomon Islands now will have a chance just before half time to get something on the board and just take a tough carry up the middle to get things started there. Unger Titasi and now this is better. Solomon Island trying to get on the outside. Kateka, she's on her own there and trying to 
release it, but PNG all over the top of that. Seguere once again was clinical over the ball, so play on for PNG. And one more here could really break the Solomon Islands hearts, and she threw everything into that over the top to a bow. And a good pass out to Kaputin, and Kaputin on the outside, a bit of an inner way. She stays inside the touchline. I don't know how she's done that, but she has. Doreen Kaputin, and she will run it in, and what a try there from PNG. Tippy towing her way down the sideline. She's absolutely exhausted after that effort. And we just spoke about it. PNG, they're so comfortable without the ball. They just wait their, t their chance for the turnover. Straight away they go on the attack once they get it, shifting it to the right edge. You can see they're passing, so keen to get it to their speedsters. And she had a lot to do here. Kaput, and she had two Solomon Islands defenders in front of her. That's a beautiful bit of skill, the little stop-start, defend, keeping the ball in the right arm away from the defence. Too much pace. There's only centimetres to work with inside that touchline as well. That's class there from PNG. So it's half-time, they lead 19 points to nil. We'll be back for the second half action right after this. Second half action coming your way. PNG have been dominant so far in this first half with a commanding lead and Cook Islands, my apologies, Solomon Islands have plenty of work to do, Nick. Yeah, and interestingly, coming through the comms at half time, the PNG coach, he was demanding more from their players. You know, if they're going to go on to bigger things today, they're going to have to be more clinical in their attack. It was really clear in asking them to be better, even though they've got a big lead here. Solomon Islands, they've been good in patches. Just struggled at times to find the speed to get around this PNG defence. So PNG will have a chance to, to live up for their coach right now with ball in hand down that left edge. And cutting back on the inside is Rama. And Rama cuts them open. And she's got a smile on her face as you would as she runs it in for another try. Her second of the day. Of Rama with a damaging piece of footwork to start the second half. She cuts aggressively off her right foot. The ability to keep that ball alive, it's just so dangerous in Seven's footy. We see here Rama, she ducks infield and then cuts off that right foot. And she loves it. Big smile on her face. A long way out from the try line. She knows she's done enough to get there. PNG, that ability to create the ball keep the ball alive and create that second phase attack. It's just so hard to defend. Constantly on the back foot and with their pace out wide. It's really hard to deal with. PNG starting the second half. 
really well. Strong lead now, 26 points to nil. And it could be more right here as PNG looks threatening once again. So dangerous a ball in hand. They switch direction now and go back to the left hand side. Alois, the captain, that's not her best pass. But it was knocked down and the referee will go to the pocket. So it doesn't get any easier now for the Solomon Islands. Down to six. And with PNG hunting on attack. They go across field now. Bayama. That to Pakala. She's already got one today. And now she might get two. And she gets out of some sloppy defense there from the Solomon Islands. And Pakana, that's all too easy. Yeah, a bit of tired defense there out on the right edge from the Solomons. PNG, just a, a casual shift out to the right edge. And there wasn't much doing here when Pakana gets the ball. She uses her footwork to break a tackle, gets in between two players and then showcasing her beautiful speed once again in the run to the line. They've got some threats, this PNG team. You mentioned it earlier, resting some of their big guns, really showing their depth here in this game. And we spoke about their coach asking them for more to be better in the second half. And so far, they've been really clinical, really nice and clean in attack. Delivery on all fronts, leading 31 points to nil. So Solomon Islands, they're certainly not going to die wondering. So this is an opportunity now, and they fling it. Just the ball not going to hand. The execution of their skills has been letting them down, but they maintain possession so far, and down they go to the captain, Sami. Trying to get inside the 22, but it's pinched away once again there from PNG, and this is real concern now as Gigamat, she stretches out. Esther Gigamat, she will go, beats the final defender, and she will cruise it in. PNG in cruise control now, and they get another try. Running away with it again, and Gigamat, one of those players you mentioned earlier, getting an opportunity today. She gets a start. And just off the back of some strong defense, the Solomons, you mentioned it. Their skills just letting them down a little bit, just unable to get any rhythm in their attack at all. A lot of balls finding the ground, a lot of turnovers at breakdown, PNG are aware of that, attacked the breakdown, got the turnover, it was a really simple try from there, Gigamat looked up, found herself in space, run 60 metres to extend their lead. Score now 36 points to nil, Papua New Guinea in complete control so far. Of time on the clock. Of course, don't go anywhere. Our men's quarterfinal action comes up next. It'll be the Cook Islands up against New Way to get things started, which will be an absolute bell ringer. And that's just moments away. Quarterfinal action in the men's. In the meantime, it's all PNG on the attack, and that one was taken about the ball. And the referee's all over that one, so PNG will tap and go. They go quickly. And she may go all the way herself. The captain, Alice Alois. And she plants it down and PNG are running right here. This is a cutting run through the middle of the Solomon defense. Worrying times now here for the Solomons. PNG streaking away off this one. But Alois, she takes the quick tap. Showing the ball in two hands going to the line. Space opens up in front of her. She recognises that, puts the foot down and goes straight through, scores herself a try. That conversion just falls short. From our, so the score remains 41 zip. PNG, PNG will definitely be at the pointy end of the women's standings. And they're showing why right now. As they restart play and go centre field and Solomon, can they get something on the board? And it beats one tackle over halfway now, gets it off the way, but it's picked off, intercepted, and PNG continue. And guess who? Fatama Rama. Sometimes he's gonna sit back and enjoy the show, and Rama delivers on all fronts. Another intercept. 
And Rama runs away again for another one. Grabs a second. The Solomon Islands, unfortunately, we've spoken about it. Doing some great work in attack and then let himself down for loose offload. But credit to Rama, she was sweating on it. Read it like a book. And then too much pace. That's been the, one of the big differences today. A real mismatch in pace. PNG, every time they've made a break, they've had the pace to go on with it and convert it into a try. Solomons, they just haven't had that, that X factor and that ability to convert their line breaks into points. Rama was just taunting the Solomon defence on her way to the try line. And that one hasn't gone 10, so Solomon Islands will get a chance. Short arm penalty, It'll tap and go up the middle. Sade, Sade gets a good offload, and that one's left behind, and Sade is luckily there to clean it up, so Solomon Islands maintain possession. They go wide now to Hungerjig. Ah, gets a good pass back to Sade, and the referee says play on, and she got a couple of tries yesterday, but she gets crunched in the tackle, and that'll wrap things up there. The PNG side keeping the Solomon Islands to zero. Full time score 46 points to nil. As men's quarterfinals action comes up next.